Auto Solo is a competition where drivers compete against the clock around a cone tarmac course. Unlike auto testing, there's never any reversing and the speeds are higher, usually in first and second gear. The events are designed for using your everyday road car and you must drive to the event. Many people use a car dedicated to competition, although this is not necessary and daily drivers are often used. Auto Solo probably has the accolade of being the most fun event when compared to its description. It's like describing an F1 car as just driving in circles, and even seasoned circuit racers have been surprised at the amount of fun these events can be. The low speed nature of this discipline focuses on driving ability rather than the car, and has the added benefit of safety. The car can be a completely standard road car and you don't need any safety gear like a helmet, race suit or gloves. Despite this, many drivers have bucket seats and harnesses to stop them sliding around in the corners. It's also common to see roll bars in open top cars, mainly because these cars are often used in other disciplines. Some people wear gloves and race boots for better grip on the steering wheel and to look fast at lunchtime. Occasionally someone would also wear a helmet. Now you're hooked, let's enter an event. You're going to need a licence. They're issued by Motorsport UK and you need an RS Clubman licence, which is free. There's a link in the description for applying online and it doesn't take long. To compete in club level motorsport, you need to be a member of a club. Find a club that's local to you and organises auto solos. There's a club finder tool on the Motorsport UK website and there's a link to that in the description. It looks like you're ready for your first event, so let's find one to enter. Every event is organised by a motor club and you can find a list of events on the Motorsport UK website. There's a link in the description so do read that as thoroughly as you would the regulations. Anyway, the event finder tool will find you events and dates thereon. Wait a moment for the page to load, select auto test from the first drop down and choose clubman auto solo from the second. There are a few interclub auto solos and these tend to be for championships that require an interclub licence. You'll have to do the legwork to find out how the clubs take entries and when entries open. Normally it will be an online entry form linked from the club website or social media. Many clubs are using the Sapphire Solutions timing system and use the entry system associated with that. Not all clubs put their contact details into the fixtures so you may have to resort to anti Gorge and Andela Bong to find them. If you're an event organiser, please do put a link in the fixture so people can find your event. Before the club opens entries for an event, they will publish supplementary regulations. This tells you everything you need to know about the event, including who's invited. You will need to be a member of an invited club or a championship listed. It's not unusual for events to fill up in hours or days, so do be prepared to miss out on one or two of the more popular events. Smaller events can often end up undersubscribed, but remember there's usually a cut-off date for entries, so don't expect to enter on a Saturday night and compete the following morning. If you're worried about missing out, then a way of getting advance notice is to join a championship. You'll usually be told about entries opening before others know and you won't have to join an invited club to compete. As a bonus, the championship often gives you the same people in the paddock at each event and there's a community built around these events. Regional associations usually run a championship and some clubs do too. There's some links in the description. If you know of other championships, please post in the comments and we'll add those links to the description too. Now you've entered an event and a championship, you need to get the car ready. We'll cover that in our next video. If you found this useful, please like the video and share it with at least one person you think may find it interesting. If you have any questions or feedback, please write in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Consider subscribing for more content like this. See you in the paddock!